Aria Hawani for MMARated.com at the Elite XT Show. I'm standing next to the victorious and very happy Benji Raddick. First off, Benji, congratulations on the big win. Thank you. I'm a beautiful girlfriend. Look at her. What's her name? Lacey. Lacey. Ariel. You're very happy tonight, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, Benji, uh, you know, online, I must admit, a lot of people were counting you out. You yeah. came in there and uh, really shocked a lot of people, especially coming off of that tough loss in December. You are finally back on track. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. One thing is for sure is I'm, I'm a rugged fighter, you know what I mean? I come out there and I'm throwing down and um, the other guy's going to feel it, you know? And, and, and Ninja held on, man. I hit him so hard several times and he was out and I was going with the finish, finishing punch. I'd miss, he'd wake up, he'd be back, you know, coming at me, throwing me, dazing me. He was a tough son of a bitch. So that I understand why people were saying, you know, counting me out because he's a badass. But um, you know, I, I came back in the second round and held off a little bit trying to get some win because we were throwing down so hard that first round. Um, gained a little bit and, um, you know, caught, I, don't know, I don't know what I caught him with to put him on his back or if he just fell, but I uh, hit him hard a couple times, man, and he was done, he was done at the end, but luckily pulled off. Pulled you know, off. I, I watched you coming down and, and you haven't fought in a while. You seem very calm. You seem very poised. I mean, none of this affected you at all. CBS coming on to Elite XC for your first time. Is, is that accurate? Were you just kind of in your zone tonight? Uh, you know what? It, it was just like any, it, I've been fighting for a long time. You know, it was just like another fight. I always get so hyped up, and I, I, I have to tell myself constantly to settle down because I get too, in, I get too, like too emotional and too much energy going on in my body. So like I, I'll throw down like that, and then, um, you know, I got to hold off for it in the second round to, to pull, you know, to get my energy back. But um, that's that's the main thing. I got to tell myself to chill out a little bit, especially when I, if I have to fight, you know, some of these new top dogs in the uh, you know in the league here I gotta um, I gotta pull it off to go into the you know fifth round fourth fifth round you know what I mean so if I get a title fight so right and speaking of a title fight November 8th uh, Robbie Lawler is defending his belt against Joy Via Senor I'm thinking you'd like the winner of that bout right uh, I would I would I, I would like I would like the winner of the bout and I have to get my training dialed in a little better um, but uh, I definitely would I have some great training partners right now and and people are pulling through for me so it's gonna work out, man, and you know I'm ready for either one of them. You know. Are you going to party with Seth Petrozelli? Both uh, both upsets tonight. You guys are gonna hang out. You impressed with that? <laughs> um, you know, that was one of those things where um, you know it was probably the best thing that could happen for Kimbo. He's probably gonna come back a lot stronger. He needed that. You know, he's been he's been riding on this train for a little while and, and getting tons of hype and stuff. And this is the best thing for him right now. So he takes a loss. Well, he he took it well. He had great things to say, and he came back. He's gonna come back a stronger, stronger guy, and he's gonna train harder. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a better man. All right, you got your whole entourage here, and everyone. Anyone you want to thank for uh, this huge night for you? MMAagents.com, for Pavia. sure. Ken Pavia. Um, I want to thank, I want to thank LA Boxing. I want to thank. I have a list somewhere. Um, I want to thank Tap Out for sure. Um, Tap Out. Gut check. Gut check. KTFO. KTFO. Headblade. Headblade. Nice. I don't, I don't have. I don't have my shorts on. Um, <laughs> and, and Ken Pavia makes dreams come true, right? Ken Pavia, you make dreams come true, right? We make dreams come true. And this was Benji's dream, so we're, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, we're coming, man. I know there's, I know there's a couple I'm missing. Um, <laughs> Brad Blackburn. Brad Blackburn's fighting showing him pretty quick. Um, hey, man, that's it, man. I, I have more. I'm just, uh, just uh, I, I, what a huge fight for me. So I'm excited, and, and uh, I have some big, more shit to show in uh, the next couple of fights coming. So. All right, well, like Razor said, a huge night for the Benji Raddick entourage. Congratulations on the big night and uh, continued success along the way. Yes, yes, hell yes.